Hey, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Eddie Harvey here from TradeWithEd.com. Let's talk about Forex traders. How much do Forex traders make? Uh, guys, this is a very subjective uh, answer uh, because everyone's going to have a different amount that they're pulling in. There is really no set average on where you can see what someone's making, guys, and it varies. So you obviously you have a lot of people that get involved with Forex, right? They try Forex and then they fail. And people think people can't make money with Forex on one end. But look at the keyword, try. Forex is not just some skill where you're just gonna come in, just not even, it's a, it's a skill, but it's not something where you're gonna come in and guys expect to just blow it up and be a master trade overnight it doesn't work that way. Anything worth having, you gotta put work into it, right? So it varies for every individual, guys. People that take it serious, people that learn the skill set. You have people that are making full-time incomes, you have people that are making part-time incomes. You have people that are making zero amount of dollars. And then you have people that are, you know, income disclosure. I'm not naming, claiming anybody's income or nothing like that. You have people that are making tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, even millions, even billions of dollars trading Forex. Yes, uh, George Soros, if you don't know who he is, guys, he actually traded uh, traded EURUSD. He shorted it, which means sold, uh, sold it and, uh, and made over a billion dollars uh, selling EURUSD. So... Obviously, he's the anomaly, right? That's not happening for everybody. But please understand that people are making money and everyone's income is going to be different. Now, what determines what's a big factor in determining what someone's going to make, uh, guys, is, you know, obviously the, the starting. I, I talk about this all the time. What, what balance are you starting with? Uh, what lot sizes are you using? And then what are your goals? So are you, you know, are you going for a daily money, a daily profit goal, or are you going for a percentage growth goal? So all of these things play a part in determining what someone is making. You know, you think if you take someone who has a, let's say a $10,000 account, right? Their goal might be only to grow their account 3% per day on that $10,000 account. Okay. So if, if they have a $10,000 account, guys, uh, when you look at the, the lot size they're using, they're going to be using uh, you know, you figure one whole lot, okay, which is equivalent to ten dollars a pip, okay, and you figure what is what is three percent of ten thousand. So you figure one percent of ten thousand is a hundred, right? Yeah, one percent is a hundred. So you figure three percent would be three hundred, three hundred bucks per day. That's three percent. That's equivalent to three hundred dollars per day that they're growing their account, that's what, 1500 a week for five days. And for a month, that's them making 1500 what's that, 3000 That's like six grand a month that we'll be making. Just give you a prime example of someone, uh, just not claiming that's what anyone is specific numbers, but if that was someone growing their account at 3%, you know, so you got someone, they can, they can have the same strategy, have the same success rate, but they can still make different income because what what do they have? Do they, do they have a hundred dollar account they're trading with? Do they have a thousand dollar, ten thousand dollar, a hundred thousand dollars? So it all varies, guys. What it boils down to though is you being being able to determine uh, the type of money you want to make. So you get you a sound strategy. You combine that with knowing how much you can afford to risk. What what are, what are you risking when you know how much you're going to be able to risk? Uh, and, and have access to in your trading account, coupled that with your lot size, guys, and then going for a certain goal, be it a, a profit goal per day or a percentage goal, right? What a, You know, a PIP goal, a, a percentage goal, whatever it may be, then that will help determine, uh, you know, how much you would look to stand to make as a Forex trader. All right, guys, so wanted to share that. Uh, like I said, there is no concrete answer. If someone has it, please share it. I, I don't... Uh, knowing anything where you're, you're not pulling up any, uh, you know, income tax forms, seeing what people were making as a trader. Everyone is subjective and is different per person. And, you know, just understand that, that people are truly and legitimately making money trading Forex, guys. Some people change in their lives, whether it be being able to be more part time in their business or going full time uh, with, with trading. So it varies from person to person. And a lot of it depends on how much time you put into learning the skill set. All right. So, guys, I hope you all found value in this video. If you did, do me a huge favor. Hit the like button. If you want to hear more from me, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Guys, and if you want to learn more about how you can learn to trade Forex as well as earn 
with Forex guys, go to my blog, <laughs> go to my, uh, my, my, my link at uh, tradewithed.com for more information on the platform that I've been utilizing myself for the past three years. All right, feel free to check it out. And man, man, I'll be for you. If you got any questions, message me. Thanks again, guys. Tradewithed.com for more information. I will talk to you all later. Have a great day.